friendship, and welcome back to another episode of Last Minute Laura. I am Laura, and in today's video, I am going to be modifying one of Alex's shirts. So, as you may be able to tell, I had a little bit of a laundry mishap with this shirt quite a bit of time ago, and I was worried that Alex would be like, oh no, you ruined my shirt. I spilled bleach, or... I didn't spill bleach. This ended up in a load of laundry that had bleach in it, and the bleach didn't act nicely to this cotton shirt, which is okay though, because now I'm looking at it and with some fresh eyes, and I thought it kind of looks like a nebula, like outer space. Like the shirt is dark blue, the little um, bits on it are white, and I thought they kind of looked like stars. So I thought, why don't we draw some planets and maybe like a cat in outer space. I don't know, some fun things that I think would make Alex smile so that he can wear this shirt again and um, enjoy it because it's not structurally damaged. It's just the color that's been damaged. So that's what I think I'm going to do today. I'm gonna do a little bit of hand embroidery on this shirt. So I'm going to begin with some chalk lines and I have the lid. So we're gonna start with a little traced out circle and that will be a planet. And then I think we'll have another planet or something planety. I feel like we should have up here. There we go. Planet, planet, some kind of spaceship. And then maybe, I don't know where yet, but maybe we'll include some kind of space cat. I just think that might be fun. I'm going to use a seven inch um, or 17.7 centimeter um, embroidery hoop. And I'm just going to secure that hoop on. Okay, so now I'm going to get my embroidery floss out. And I think for this first planet, we should go, oh, that's kind of nice. How about we do that? That's kind of nice. Okay. so. To begin with this planet, I'm going to just start by pulling my thread up through the bottom. And I'm not going to tie a knot, but I am going to leave maybe two or three inches. And then I'm going to do some back stitches. So that means I'm putting the needle in behind where the thread comes up and then putting the needle up a little bit past where the thread was and I'm just going to stab the needle in the middle of that stitch, then come up a little bit more. But I like to do this stitch for um, outlines and whatnot because it is kind of like invisible on itself. Like you're, there's no dashed line. It's very um, consistent looking. Okay, so I'm just gonna complete this circle in my back stitch, split back stitch uh, in hand embroidery and when I finish this circle in the purple I will come back and show you what I'm going to do next to um, I don't know keep going I might not even make it around the circle I'm just going to go as long as as this piece of thread will let me this piece of embroidery floss as so long as it lets me go around the circle I'm going to just keep doing that and when it runs out I will bring you back and show you how it's looking and what my next plan is Okay, so I'm just about done with my first piece of floss. So now I'm going to switch colors to this brighter purple next. I like this one a lot. So I'm gonna get some of that. Okay, so I just finished my second color, purple. And now I'm going to go in with another color. So there's my first little storm spiral on my little planet. So I'm just going to do a few more designs in this orange. Sorry about the weird focus. It's just trying so hard to stay bright. Maybe I'll just adjust the brightness a little bit. See if we could bring it down a bit. Okay, um, so yeah, I'm going to just keep working in that orange, do some more lines on this planety type thing, make it look a little bit more like there's some stuff going on in it. And when I finish with the orange um, piece of thread, I'll come back and show you what I'm gonna do with some of the other colors. 
Okay, so I just finished with the orange and now I've switched my um, thread. I have one strand of orange and one strand of the light purple and now I'm just gonna kind of like go in and around my orange stitches with this one strand of purple and one strand of orange just to kind of add a little bit of, I don't know, dimension I guess. So I like to do this when I'm doing any hand embroidery thing. I like to work in, in pieces of two pieces of thread instead of like three or one or whatever. Two I find gives me a really nice amount of detail, but also you can use two different colors, which means you can blend your colors way better. If you're doing something that you want to look like real, like if you were doing feathers on like a bird's wings or something, um, two strands allows you to have bits that have little flecks of color and um, still get a little bit of extra coverage. So I'm just gonna do that with the orange and the purple. Probably I'll do it two times. Yeah, I'll do this with two pieces of thread. Um, so this is just the first piece. I'll do as much as I can with this and then I'll do it with another and then I'll switch colors. So when I finish with this bit, I'll come back and show you what I'm gonna do next. I just finished with the orange and I think I'm going to add in a little bit of this sort of seafoam greeny blue color. I don't know why, I just feel like maybe it would be a good idea. There's the dark purple and now I'm going to grab this chalk and I think I'm going to like bring this sort of, bring this out a little, make it a little more spherical. So now I'm going to start the line way back here. Okay, so you may notice that this is now a different shot. I looked back at the footage and realized I hadn't really been explaining what I was doing very well, and I hadn't really considered the fact that this fabric is so dark, so the lighting was totally off. So I'm going to kind of go over what I covered already just so that you can be up to speed. So I started by making a circle with the lid of a mason jar. And then I outlined that circle with a variety of different colors. I've um, gathered the colors that I'm using for this project right now at this point. In colors that are actually labeled, I have an Anchor 342 and an Anchor 871. Um, I don't know this brand. It was just at a, a flea market type thing that I went to, so I grabbed a bunch of them. Um, and then I have two that are DMC colors. I don't know what the numbers are though because I don't write those down. And then I've got another anchor one, which I'm using the orange for most of this bright portion. And that's an anchor as well, anchor 5975. And then last anchor one, I haven't used this yet, but I am going to, and it is anchor 844. It's this pretty bright yellow one. And I'm gonna do a few highlights just around the planet sort of thing. And then I've got a couple other pops of color. The blue has been mostly on the outsides and then I did a little bit of this green mixed in. I'm gonna just keep working the same way, which means I'm going to take colors two at a time. So I'm going to use um, one strand of yellow and one strand of orange, or one strand of blue and one strand of green. And I'm just gonna keep doing that to fill in this planet so that it looks kind of like a gassy planet. It's, that's sort of my goal. Okay, so I'm back now. And I'm going to be adding in the yellow now. Um, and I'm gonna go around the orange areas um, in some spots and just kind of like go around the like lines I've already made. I've done one strand of the yellow and one strand of that turquoise teal sort of color. I'm just kind of trying to blend all the different things I've been using. So I'm just gonna start near the orange. And I'm still not tying any knots. Okay, so that is what it's looking like now that I've got the green and yellow mixture there. Oh, perfect time for the sun to come in. You can see everything. Um, now I'm going to get, I think, some more dark purple and maybe more of the dark purple and the blue. I'm Okie dokie, so there is, as far as I got in this little sitting, I've got a couple more strands of purple and blue. 
and I did that yellow little bit. I'm going to take a little break so my fingers can toughen back up and when I come back I'm going to keep filling in these spaces with some blue and purple. Okay, so here is what the planet is looking like at this point. So now you can see the stitches. Also, I think I'll do that rest in dark blue and that'll just sort of keep this vibe that it has right now. So I'm going to Okay, so it's been a couple of days since I worked on this. So now I'm just filling in the remaining empty spaces with this um, sort of purpley blue color just to finish off this planet. I think I'm going to make this shirt more of a project series of sort of shorter videos showing things that I put on this shirt um, rather than a really long play-by-play. -play. I think I'm going to try and organize it as a little bit more of a short tidbit where you can kind of see um, something quick that I'm going to add to this shirt and I'm going to add something next. And I think I want to do a moon around this planet, but let me know in the comments what you think I should add on to Alex's space shirt. And if I think it's cool and Alex thinks it's cool, then I'll add it on. And um, we've had some ideas. Alex is really open to any design, so if you've got an idea for something that we can put on Alex's outer space shirt, yeah, let me know in the comments. Okay, so here is the first planet. You can see it's totally filled in with stitches and it kind of has a stiffer sort of feel. So you can see the individual stitches are two threads thick. You can see this sort of psychedelic vibe I went with with purples and orange, um, a lot of blue, and a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow, and a little bit of gray in there too, just to sort of jazz it up a little bit. So that is what I came up with. So what do you think I should put in next? I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards some kind of moon or something around here, but let me know in the comments and I'll do it as the next little applique on Alex's outer space shirt. And if you liked this video, remember to give it a like. It shows me that you liked it. And if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. I do put out a new video every single Tuesday, an edited video like this. And I also do live stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 7 a.m. Eastern time. My Tuesday video also comes out at 7 a.m. Eastern time. So definitely check that out. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!